Now I'm going to get into a, a little different section of our tabs up here, and we're going to see the check region option is there again, and this needs to be done in this portion of the ribbon bar for the parting tools. This is what's going to actually define the region definition, and that will then be used to create the parting face and therefore the core side and cavity side of our insert. I've calculated, I go to the face region, nothing different there than what we saw before. We go to the region, and I have two buttons down here, cavity region. I verify what I've got highlighted there, and that all looks good. Highlight the core region, and it's not so good. I need these surfaces on this main hole that goes to the center of the part to be part of the core. So while that's highlighted, I simply click that and that, and that's going to add that into the core side, but I'm not done. I also need these little holes on both ends to be added in to my core pin or core side. Now that I've got that done, I apply, and you'll see that the undefined regions, I still have eight of them, and that's going to be those vertical walls that go around the side. I want those to be part of the cavity. I just highlight cavity and then go pick those around the outside of the part. Now, again, you might want to come back to your designer and say, I need a little bit of draft on there, or maybe he says he can't. I have to have those straight up and down. Whatever, I go ahead and apply to add those into my cavity region, and that all looks pretty good. Choose OK, and I'm done with that. Next would be shutting off some of the faces in between cavity and core side. This is really easy to do. You have a traverse option, which allows you to actually pick edges, generate new geometry as parting definition, and it can get as complicated as you want to. It doesn't have to be. Choose face, and I just want to use the top face between the blue and the orange, so I pick that. It identifies those intersection edges and highlights them, and I say yes, do it. And it creates a little surface, a bounded plane type surface there, that's going to form a shutoff. I do the same thing over here on this end, and it highlights that little circular edge there. I apply that. I can do that with mouse button two. Slip over to the other side. Highlights the edge of that. Mouse button two. And now I've got my three patch surfaces done. And move on. Now we actually define regions. There's the cavity region. And this is going to be used to split up my parting plane and unite to a surface that will then trim the body of the insert into two separate bodies. Actually, it splits. So we've got the cavity side, we've got the core side, and again, it just allows me to double check things. And then I want to turn these options on, create region, create parting lines, and choose OK. And that definition now is what I can use for the next step, which is to design the parting surface. As soon as I do that, then a plane was generated off of the fact that it found coplanar curves in the parting line. And that's what it's going to use to trim off this plane that it created. And that's all I have to do is just say, OK, here. I could get in and, and modify with a lot of customization if I had a, an uneven parting surface, uh, whatever kind of part geometry, such as the speaker grill we were looking at originally. But we just want to keep it simple and move on. Now that, as you can see, has split that. And I can now go to the next step, which is to actually define the cavity and the core parts. Cavity region highlights all the faces, including the parting face. And then go to core region, and it does the opposite there. When I choose that, it highlights all the core faces. Looks good. Choose OK. And a new part's going to be created. Choose mouse button 2 to accept that. And it gives me a preview of my core side. And if I want to see the cavity side, I just tell it to reverse the normal. And now I see the cavity side. And those are the two parts of my insert that are going to form the actual plastic molded part. Choose OK with mouse button 2, and I'm done with that. Now, there are other options and tools in the parting lines. If you have a new part supplied from a customer, for instance, that is making the or designing the flipper, and they say, I've got revision 2, you can just swap revision 2 in for number 1. 